So now everything is ready. The next thing we do is to perform the general mapping. We are going to map the risk to the reference sequence. So let's proceed. So if you take a look at the Galaxy tutorial, mapping was done using BWA. Let's take a look. Yeah. Mapping was done using BWA mem. So we will also do the same. So let's go back to our platform here. And then we will search for BWA mem. So let's search. We say BWA mem. So we should see it here. So let's use this one here, BWMM. So we will select it and then proceed with the rest of the activity. Now, before we proceed, let's go back to the tutorial. So in the tutorial here, the reference sequence was downloaded and then an index was generated. But we are not going to download the reference sequence. We are not going to generate index. The Glazy platform already has a built-in genome index that we can use. So that's what we'll use to perform the genome mapping. So let's select the parameters. So here we have used a built-in genome index. That's what we are going to do. So we will maintain this. When we come to the reference genome, we will select the equali one. So let's click it and then scroll down to search. You can also type by the way, but I prefer to scroll down and then get them. So we we'll use this one here, the E. coli string K12. So select it and then scroll down. So here it's asking whether we are using single or paired and risk. We are using paired and risk. So we will maintain this. If you don't see this, click and then select paired. Now we say select first set of reads and then select second set of reads. So here, I need to select the forward and then the reverse. Okay, so the first one is the forward, the second one is the reverse. So you should see this. If you don't see this, if you don't see one and two, just make sure you select them. So yeah, I already see one, but I'll show you how to select. So you can come here and then click and then you can select the one that you want. And then when you come here, that is the reverse. It should be the two. So click again here and then select the two. That's the reverse. So you should have one and then two. Okay. Now here it says set read groups information. Okay. So read groups are important. Okay. But for this tutorial, I will not set it because we are using one sample and then a BCF tools does not require us to set read groups. But if uh, if you have multiple samples, then it's advisable to set the read group because it will help you to um, process your data. There are a number of things you can do if you set read groups. That's basically what I'll say. So uh, you need to set read groups if you are dealing with lots of samples. And also some variant colors require that you set read groups. For example, GATK will require you to set read groups. Okay, because it's using that information for processing. But for this tutorial, we are not going to set any read groups. So let's proceed. So we will maintain this. Here it says select analysis mode. So here we are using simple Illumina mode. That's what we will use. So make sure you set that. And then when you come to BAM sorting mode, you maintain this one. Sort by chromosomal coordinates. Make sure it's set to this. So here we are performing the mapping. And then we are also sorting the alignment records. Okay. If you are using the command line version of the tools, you need to first perform the mapping and then you also have to sort. But when we use the Galaxy platform, everything is given here. So you just have to select them and then um, they will be done for you. So that's about it. So now we have everything we need. We have selected our parameters. And so we can click on the execute button to start the genome mapping. So let's click it and start the mapping. So click it now. And then the job will be submitted. Okay, so here we have the tool that is being used or the command that is being used. And then we also have the input files. We have one and two, that's the forward and the reverse. And we also have the output file that will be generated. 
the outputs okay so the output here is what to be generated this is in the bam format okay so we are going to generate this so once the job has been submitted successfully if you check the right side you will see the outputs also displayed here so if the background is gray that means that the job is in queue okay so if the background changes to orange that means that the job is processing and if it turns to green that means that the job has been completed so let's wait for the job to complete okay mapping has been done so let's proceed <clears throat> 